welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is slope word problems, and we have eight examples to work out for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one says, what is the slope of a ramp that has a vertical increase of two feet for every 10 feet in length? So in this problem, we're going to use the definition of slope as rise over run. The letter M is used to represent the slope. The rise is the vertical change, and the run is the horizontal change. We may be able to see that better if we draw a picture. For every 10 feet in length on the ramp, there's a rise of two feet. And so all I'm going to sub do is substitute and write the ratio. The rise, or the vertical change, is 2 feet. The run, or the horizontal change, is 10 feet. If I reduce the fraction 2 over 10, dividing by 2 over 2, I will get 1 fifth. Or we can write that as a percentage and say the slope of the ramp is 20%. Problem number 2 says, the number of dogs in Pupville in 2015 was 67. By the year 2020, there were 152 dogs. What is the average rate of increase of the number of dogs per year? So in this problem, we're actually given two points. In the year 2015, there were 67 dogs. And in the year 2020, there were 152 dogs. So in this problem, we're going to use the slope formula. Change in y, or the second y minus the first y, divided by the change in the x-coordinates, second x minus first x. Remember, in math, change is usually subtraction. Now we're just going to substitute. Slope would be equal to the second y is 152, the first y is 67, the second x is 2020, and the first x is 2015. And now we'll subtract on the top and the bottom. 152 minus 67 is 85, and 2020 minus 2015 is 5. We can divide 85 by 5 cleanly and find out that the answer is 17. So the average rate of increase of the number of dogs per year is 17 dogs per year. Problem number three says, the data for the number of cases of dog treats sold at Yummy Treats for the past six months is shown in the table below. What is the average rate of change in sales of cases of dog treats from month one to month four? So from the table, I'm going to write two points similar to what I did in the last problem. In month one, there were 416 cases, and in month four, there were 542 cases. Now I'm going to apply the slope formula. Slope is equal to the second y minus the first y divided by the second x minus the first x. And so slope will be equal to 542 minus 416 on the top. And on the bottom, I will have 4 minus 1. When I do the subtraction, 542 minus 416 is 126, and 4 minus 1 is 3. 126 divided by 3 is a clean division, and I get an answer of 42. So the average rate of change in sales of cases of dog treats from month 1 to month 4 would be 42 cases per month. Problem number four says, the roof on the big dog model doghouse increases 21 inches vertically for every 36 inches horizontally. What is the pitch of the roof on the big dog doghouse? So this is similar to number one where I'm going to compare in a ratio the rise or vertical change compared to the run or horizontal change. Again, I can draw a picture. There's a 21 inch vertical change for every 36 inches horizontal change on the roof. And so I'm going to substitute that in and write the ratio. The rise, or the vertical change, is 21, and the run, or the horizontal change, is 36. 
And now all I have to do is reduce the fraction by 3 over 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 36 divided by 3 is 12. So the pitch of the roof would be 7 over 12. Problem number 5 says, Two hours into her trip, Cyprus has traveled 84 miles. After five more hours of driving, she has traveled 414 miles. What is her average speed in miles per hour? So in this question, again, I'm given two points. Two hours into the trip, Cyprus has traveled 84 miles. So that's the point 284. And it says after five more hours of driving, so two plus five would give me seven hours. After seven hours, she will have traveled 414 miles. And so once I have the two points, I'm going to use the slope formula. Change in y, or the second y minus the first y, divided by change in x, or the second x minus the first x. And now all I have to do is substitute. The second y is 414 minus the first y is 84. In the denominator, the second x is 7 minus the first x is 2. And now I'll subtract and divide. 414 minus 84 is 330, and 7 minus 2 is 5. 330 is divisible by 5. If I divide that in a calculator, I get 66. So what is her average speed in miles per hour? It would be 66 miles per hour on her trip. Problem number 6 says, A surveyor at the Dog Plot Gravel Company has found that for every 80 feet horizontal, the vertical drop-off is 2.5 feet. On average, what is the percent grade for this piece of land? So this is a problem where I'm going to use the ratio of rise or vertical change compared to the run or horizontal change. Again, we can look at it as a picture. Every 80 foot horizontal has a drop off of 2.5 feet. And so I'm going to substitute in to my ratio. The vertical change or the rise is 2.5 and that's going to be negative because it's moving downward, and the run, or horizontal change, is 80. Then I'm going to punch that into a calculator. Negative 2.5 divided by 80 is negative 0.03125. The question asks, on average, what is the percent grade? So I'm going to multiply this by 100, and I would find out the percent grade is negative 3.125 percent. Problem number seven says, in 2018, there were 21 million websites dedicated to dogs. By 2021, this number jumped to 30.6 million. What was the average increase in dog-based websites per year? So in this problem, I'm given two points. In 2018, there were 21 million websites. So that's the point 2018 comma 21. The second point would be in 2021, I have 30.6 million. So I have 2021 comma 30.6. Since I have two points, I'm going to use the slope formula. Change in y, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over change in x, which is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And now I'm just going to substitute. The second y is 30.6, and the first y is 21. The second x-coordinate is 2021, and the first x-coordinate is 2018. And now, like the others, I'll just subtract. 30.6 minus 21 is 9.6, and 2021 minus 2018 is 3. I can divide that out cleanly. 9.6 divided by 3 is 3.2. And so the average increase in websites per year would be 3.2 million websites per year. Problem number 8 says, A new doggy motorcycle costs $3,500. After nine years, the value is $1,295. What is the average drop in value per year? So again, I'm given two points. 
at year zero, the value is $3,500. And at year nine, the value is $1,295. And so again, I'm going to use the slope formula. Second y coordinate minus first y coordinate divided by second x coordinate minus first x coordinate. And then I'm going to substitute 1295 minus 3500. And the change in x, second x coordinate is 9, minus the first x coordinate is 0. Like I did in the other problems, I'm going to subtract. So 1,295 minus 3,500 is negative 2,205, and 9 minus 0 is 9. When I divide that out, negative 2,205 divided by 9 is negative 245. And so the average drop-in value per year would be 245 per year. So that's it. Eight examples of slope word problems worked out step by step. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. You can definitely do this if you put in the time and effort. As we say at Math Dogs, you got this.